Well, back at it. Time to do chores. It's cold. It's snowing again. Cow, down. Should it out? Cow, cow. Instead of Easter, we're gonna have another Christmas. Can you open the door? Awesome. Him and Santa are going to work together in this game. Is it Easter Bunny? We're going to have frozen eggs this year. Why? Whoa! Same driver. There, Dad. No there goes that working woman. Now yeah, they're opening our gate. Yeah, our working woman. Our working mama, huh? Working mama. Look at her out there. Mom, do you want to come in? <laughs> Our little Eskimo. Where's it? Mommy! Where's it be? We lost Indu for a minute. Our little horses, we're here to feed you. Uh, we can maybe not get stuck. Dad, are these our horses? Yep. Successfully killed a Saturday. It's 28th of March. As you can see all around me, snow. Still snowing. You know, it's not unusual for us to 
get snow this time of year, but usually the snow is already melted and we might get one quick storm of, you know, a couple inches here and there. That's not, it's not uncommon, but guys, our winter snow has never left. Here at the ranch, we've probably got out of the field, there's oh, foot and a half of snow. We've got seven inches last night and today. It's getting a little bit old. I mean, I love winter and we need the snow desperately. We've been in a drought forever. And we need the snow. It's looking like a really good spring. I was just talking to a friend of mine that was up snowmobiling up the canyon today. And he goes up where we take our sheep in the summertime. And he says there's 13 inches of base. Or I mean, excuse me, 13 foot on the base. And another three feet of powder on top. Guys, that's a lot of snow for us. It's awesome. But it's melt. We went out yesterday and looked at the lambing ground. My brother's got to take his sheep in a week. He's got a foot and a half of snow on top of it. Nothing to eat. No grasses came yet. It's a little bit scary. But we'll get by. We always do. Figure it out. Uh, next week we're going to go down. Actually going to be shearing some sheep. We're going to shear some on the desert. What we normally don't do. But we're gonna go do it. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I'm trying to do chores here and talk to you guys. No, I'm not complaining about the snow. It's awesome. We need it. But we also need springtime and summer and get ready for some grass. Down here feeding the horses, the horse search here. That's Nelson. He's our mule colt. I was just gonna start in this winter playing with him more but it's been so miserable he hasn't got touched much kind of a deal i'm out of a big grass bell of hay right here because i'm actually gonna move these horses tomorrow up to where the feedlot is it's a big sand pit and get them out this is when this does warm up this is gonna be a muddy mess these are the kids horses our horses riding horses so i'm gonna move them out tomorrow so i didn't want to put a big bell of hay here for one night so I got some little bells of hay on the truck to feed them. I already fed them once this morning. So we'll feed them again. There we go. That'll do it for the night. We'll feed them again tomorrow. Move them up to the feedlot. I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm also going to be gone the next like three weeks. We're moving the sheep home from the desert. And put them on the lamb and ground shear and everything so uh, i want to get these horses out of here and up somewhere where it's a little better for them because i'm not going to be doing much with them we usually go ride a night or two a week at the arena with the kids but i will be gone the kids won't go ride with my wife they only like to go ride with me so we might as well put these horses up somewhere where it's drier a little better for them and it's, it's, it's great. It's awesome. We're going to fill up some reservoirs. We're going to do a lot of good things with it. But we need some grass to grow. Um, I'm tired of feeding hay. I was talking to my cousin that has cows. He says in two weeks, normally they brand calves and turn out to pasture. He says there's no way they'll do it. Hay is going to be one of them commodities that if you have a lot of it, you can make a lot of money right now. But I just hope people don't take advantage of, of the situation and make a ton of money on these ranches that still need hay. Um, I was at the coffee shop talking with some people this morning, some local ranchers and stuff. They say in our county in general, right now, we have a 30% death loss on calves over everything. That is, it's unreal. And it hasn't been just one thing. It's snow, cold, wet, it's all of it. 
and that's what's causing these problems and that's what's really hard I kind of was like all winter oh yeah it's great we're getting all this snow I was so happy poor cows oh that's too bad by the time I lamb in April it'll be great we're gonna have green grass yeah right still snowing guys that's all right we'll make by like I told the ladies at the bank today says, how are your day going I said it's great she said, it ain't a great day I says, yeah it is we could be having a hurricane or an earthquake my house is fine it's snowing but oh well I will show you the guy these dogs as Dallas would call them dogs that's Petey that's dad's dog pretty good dog here's Zippy blue healer Cal he's getting better he's a pup he's gonna make a dang good sheep dog one day Zip over there he's kind of the mascot around here we all just love him he don't do a whole lot I know blue healer on a sheep ranch we could have a whole podcast about that. But we love him. This here's Ike. Number one. Hi, Ikers. Very, very happy dog. Very good dog. Best thing about him, I didn't teach him a thing. He taught it to himself. See, he's got this snow. If I can get the snowmobile out tomorrow, we'll go right around. Kids will love it. Yeah. Good days. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a 